To know about tomorrow's technology today, tune in to Universal Bite It. And the stories we have lined up for you this week are... The engine that powers a car now propels a two-seater plane. A dream project of the students from the Hindustan Engineering College. You can always sit at home and make money. Thanks to certain websites that help you create a biz online. Discovering the technology that tests the dream car, BMW. If you own a Maruti S team and wish you could escape the maddening traffic by flying up into the air, just head to the Hindustan Engineering College in the city. Your dream will come true. of four and a half months is all it took for these students in the city to design and build this two-seater airplane. The force that once drove you on roads in the name of a Maruti ST is now powering an entire airplane. Thanks to these students from Hindustan Engineering College, the engine of this car now carries a 650 kilogram airplane. If you remember, the esteemed promotion line was Big Big World. Now, you will indeed be seeing the Big Big World from the airplane powered by the very same engine. Justin, Kalyan and Kishore had a brainwave in their final semester. And this innovative idea for their project was born about five months ago. This wasn't just a project work for us. It was a dream project. We uh, went forward with the idea, with the plan of making an aircraft. Then uh, we uh, approached Professor P.S. Venkit Narayan of our department. And with the help of our management, Hindustan management, here we have used a car engine, a uh, Maruti steam engine, that is 85 HP, 1300cc engine. Main reason being that we couldn't afford a dedicated aircraft engine, which would cost around 6 to 7 lakhs. And this engine, Maruti steam engine, it's a uh, lightweight, all aluminum body engine. So which can easily propel the aircraft uh, in the air. Their idea impressed many. Chetan Enterprise in Kandan Chavdi offered their space which became the student's workshop. They began their journey with one inch pipes and aluminium sheets. So Justin walked in actually one day, you know, just walked into the factory and asked us that he was interested in making a plane. And frankly what we thought was something that, you know, the remote controlled plane that they are going to be using. And all of a sudden, during the conversation, he said that he was looking at making either a one-seater or a two-seater plane, which took us by surprise, frankly, and we didn't think it was possible to manufacture something like that. And then, uh, but he was very persistent, I must say. And then uh, the boys came down and they started working really hard. And uh, as and when, whenever they required mechanical design, I was there to help them out. So, frankly, till the very end, I didn't think they are going to be able to make it. You know, but uh, you know, the deadlines were very, very tight and I really didn't expect them to finish it on time. But uh, I guess credit goes to them and they have like, uh, done a good job. The success of an airplane depends on increasing the thrust and the lift while decreasing its drag and weight. Over here, the boys very smartly chose aluminium which weighs three times lesser than magnesium steel. So while the students made sure they decreased the weight of the plane, they let be the drag caused by the wheels which did not fold in in the case of the plane they built. In our case, the drag was minimal. Uh, it doesn't affect the performance of engine, so we opted for this kind of setup. Maruti's potential has been tapped to the hilt. I bet you would have seen these wheels in a Maruti Omni. During the process, we've been facing lots of problems regarding how to convert this design into a product. So manufacturability was a serious issue for us. So we uh, came up uh, with lots of designs, we've been brainstorming ourselves. Then we had a debate or uh, which design has to be taken, which is feasible for us. Then we settled for one uh, design which is the best and we uh, uh, carried move forward to the fabrication process. They began with the end, quite literally. First came the tail segment that consists of the radar and the elevator. The radar helps the plane move left or right and the elevator helps in picking the plane up during takeoff or flips downwards to aid in landing. The control of the radar lies in these pedals. This control column that you see needs to move front or back so that you can control the elevator. 
This place where I'm sitting is called the cabin, which is the second segment that these boys worked on. The cabin segment also consists of the wings. The flap control and the aileron are the two main facets of the wing. The flap works as the brake like in an automobile. It also assists the elevator during takeoff and landing. The aileron helps the plane roll to either side. This lever is used to control the flap. You move this column left and right. You're on a roll. Your stomach churns and you're still enjoying. The final and most critical segment is the engine. The air absorbed by the air intake mixes with the petrol in the carburetor. The RPM of the engine is reduced from 6000 to 3000 to increase the torque. Now all you have to do is increase the throttle to give the engine enough power to propel the plane high up in the air. The students planned and put together this 5.8 lakh adventure. Juka Ki stands for the trio Justin, Kalyan and Kishore and this plane can achieve a speed of 70 km per hour on the ground adequate to soar skywards. The first difficulty we faced is the time frame, which only a four and a half months. The second thing is about funding, we are funded by ourselves. Uh, actually we are not making a part of an aircraft, we are making it a whole complete aircraft. So we need to make a schedule for each and every component. We somehow work day and night. Uh, we completed the uh, project successfully. Right now we are looking forward to some aviation companies to take this aircraft and do some tuning works so that the DGCA can come and inspect, give us license to fly this aircraft so it becomes airworthy. Jukaki got its certificate of airworthiness from the civil aviation, I'm really not fully equipped to be able to fly it high. But the least I can do, and quickly now, is simulate an environment. <laughs>